Dream posted a video titled The Truth, which he has evidently been working on for a very long time as it's an hour and a half worth of content. It goes over everything from the past couple of years, from his face reveal, to speedrunning cheating allegations, to of course the big fight between him and Nicholas Cantu, aka the Gumball voice actor. I'll be honest, it's a huge time commitment to go through and you have to be either extremely invested in the stories that have been popping up in the last year to watch this, or in my case, been following the memes that have spawned from Dream's existence. That being said, I recognise that a short video has limitations when it comes to summarising such a huge topic. After all, almost every single chapter of the hour and 22 minute essay covers a scandal that became a meme, and there's 28 of them, including the intro. Even the length of the video plays into the I ain't reading all that trend, referencing Dream's lengthy Twitter posts. Despite this, it's worth noting a lot of big YouTubers have weighed in on the topic. Dream directly addresses Charlie's comments about him posting Thirst Trap, and brings up the idea that perhaps they were from fake accounts, which is pretty likely given how intense those fake accounts are. Some of the pictures I saw weren't really his. He posts, like, just Snapchat shit, whereas what I kept seeing from him were, like, the Thirst Trap ones, where it's like, I'm the cutest guy in the world. Apparently that wasn't him. That was one of his mini imposters, and this one was verified. So, fair enough, I guess, if those weren't really his Thirst Trap posts. Charlie would go on to admit that Dream defended his critique quite well, so it goes to show that there are some points that he has made in truth. There's also a really interesting interview with the Uber driver involved with the Dream vs Gumball conflict, and he seems to back Dream up. As a result, the question needs to be asked, will Dream's response actually fix anything? After all, 99% of the time, responding to allegations in an emotionally charged manner is likely to just make them worse, which is what seems to have happened many times over on Twitter. But Dream says his issues got to the point where his family were being harassed, which is definitely too far. For innocent people to get involved is certainly a terrible side effect of online drama, and one that seems to be all too frequent. As such, it's unclear what consequences this video will have moving forward. For those willing to listen to Dream, it might change their opinion, but for those who just really, really, really hate him, I wouldn't hold my breath. In short, Dream's response video is an hour and a half of addressing allegations to situations that seem to have escalated to an insane degree, as 99% of the internet seems stuck fighting about what is real and what is fake. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>